This video explains the steps to render out an image in Maya. Prior to rendering, there are certain conditions that need to be set to ensure a successful render and that the output is what you expect. At this point, you should be familiar with the Maya interface. Step 1 is identifying your saving location. As you watch on the screen, I am going to set my project on a network drive named H. You need to select your own location, whether it is a network drive or a local drive, but make sure if you are on a network, you have the rights to save in that location and that there is enough disk space. You will begin by going to your main menu and selecting File, Project, Set. Where it says look in, you want to make sure you are selecting the proper drive where you want your project to save. Then I click set. Step two is setting your camera display. Go to your panel menu. Choose View, Camera Setting, Film Gate. The rectangle that you see is your camera lens. Think of it as your picture frame. What is within this picture frame is what is going to output as your final image. Adjust your image so that you are getting exactly what you see on the screen is what you want as your final output. Step 3 in rendering an image is to determine your rendering settings. Go to your main menu, choose main window, rendering editors, render settings. Under the Common tab, just make sure that the path is the place that you want to be saving your file. Then look for the tab File Output. If it's not open, then you'll need to open the arrow. Under File Name Prefix, give a name to your file. Being I am rendering a checkered ball, I'm going to call this Checkered Ball. And image format, I'm going to make this image a JPEG. Everything else within this menu can be left at its default values, so I'm just going to close the window. Step 4 is your final step, and this is where you prepare to render. On the status line, make sure that the menu set you have out is the rendering menu set. If it is not, then you need to select rendering. Go to your main menu, choose render, and select batch render. In the lower right hand corner, there is an icon called the script editor. Click your script editor and this will open a window that you can see the progress of your actual rendering. When the rendering is 100% done, then you can close your script editor, you can go to the drive where you saved your image, and you can double click your image and it will open independent of the Maya program. That is the completion of the steps in creating an image in Maya.